Hello. In this recording, a very short, I will show you how to use HTTPS, the secure connection, in uh, OpenShift 3 uh, with the free account. I will just give you some suggestions how you can do it with the paid one. I don't have any paid one, so I will just do it with the, with the free account. So, as you can see, I have uh, Tomcat working uh, here uh, with my simple application. So let's click here to see what I have. This is just a typical typical application. So for example, I have also a servlet which is called test. So we have this and this. And of course, after installing such an application, it is the same when you have any other application, PHP for example application too. So you can try to use HTTPS here and what you will see, okay the application is not available, you cannot use HTTPS. So let's go back to our console and how we can solve this problem, oh, we can solve it very easy. So go to application, then roots, then you have the root this is just the address you use every time when accessing your application. Click on this route and then go to edit. Okay, and in edit you can choose here. You see this is just a typical route and this secure route is not chosen here. So let's do it. So choose secure and then what we can choose. For example, here is insecure traffic is non allowed. Let's, let's do it like this and save it. Now after saving, what you see here or when we go to the main application, the address is now HTTPS. So let's click on this. Of course not available, but okay, just wait a second. As you can see, we were able to use this HTTPS protocol. This is the standard certificates. Of, of OpenShift. But what happens now when I go and use HTTPS? Uh, okay, let's do it. HTTP, not S, HTTP, sorry. And of course, this page is non available at this moment. So let's change a little bit. So, what we can do when we go one more time to the our root and go to edit, you will see that here the insecure traffic is non allowed. We can, for example, allow the unsecured traffic. So when we allow and we use HTTP, we will use HTTP. I will not show it, you can test it, but maybe it can be interesting. We can choose redirect, which means when you try to use HTTP, it will be redirected to HTTPS. So let's choose it now and save. Okay, let's go to our application. Of course, it works because it is HTTP. I will just try H HTTPS. I will just try to HTTP. Uh, let's try. At this moment, it doesn't work. We need to wait. Uh, the system see our new settings. Okay, so let's just refresh. And now you see we are redirected to HTTPS. Let's try one more time because sometimes it takes just time. So HTTP, I try and I go to HTTPS. So let's go back to our application and our settings. You see here, you can also choose allowed so if you will allow, if you will use HTTP, it will work with HTTP. If you want to use HTTPS, it will work with HTTPS. But as you can see, this is the free account. I, I, I have no possibility to install my own certificate. But you see here are the places where you can choose your certificate, your private key, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then, of course, you will also, in such a case, when you have your own certificate, you will also change the the, 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 the host name yes, to your own domain. And then you will use 
your own certificate. As I told you, we can uh, do the same with, um, with any application, not only Java Tomcat applications. Uh, and of course, you can also uh, uh, configure your application uh, to use uh, HTTP in several parts of this application, HTTP, uh, S in other, and so on and so on. So, thank you very much. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.